Hey, welcome back to the new and improved AI dungeon. I guess yeah. we haven't played it in a while and the website's completely changed. It has this like nice interface. Yeah, it looks pretty good even though at the same so, time it's like one bit. Yeah, I mean it's it's basic, but it's, it's cool. A, it's better than like a console. Yeah, maybe it'll run better this time. It won't like crash like every five minutes. That'll be cool. Uh, well. So what do we want to start with? Did we ever do a mystery one? I don't, I don't think know. we did a mystery. Let's let's try mystery. So let's go ahead. Wow, okay. Patient. Was it fast? Detective or spy. How is a patient a mystery character? Uh, and that's like the first thing they think of? Uh patient. So we're just like there. No no detective. Yeah, why would we Could do be the patient? Detective Bumbo. Okay. Alright. It's like fast. Yeah. Detective. Whoops. I'm not used to the. Jesus. My uh, keyboard's a little farther you than have I'm to used scroll? to. Scroll. Uh oh, that's. Oh. Okay. You are Detective Bumbo, a detective living in Chicago. You have a pistol and a police badge. You enter the forest where you believe the criminal you're searching for fled to. Suddenly, you hear a gunshot from behind you. Shit. Shit. You shout as bullets start flying through the air towards your position. The criminals run away, and now it's just you against them. Huh? They ran away. But they ran away. Well, um, what should we do here? Get in, um, hot rod and chase them. Get in. Low rider. Get on hot rod. A hot rod's not a low rider. And One of the two. Them. Isn't a hot rod a bike? A motorcycle? Like, I don't know, to be real with you. I well, know it's let's... fast and dangerous. Right, let's give it a shot. Okay, do you hit enter yet? Yeah. Squares. I thought I did. Yeah, yeah, look it. It was already doing that though. Get on hot rod. Hot, hot dog. dog! Do that, rod. just do that. Get on, Get on hot, 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 hot rod. rod, eat hot dog, chase them. Why is it not working? Drop hot log. No. So I'm gonna try again, two. Whoops, oh, god damn it. Smell her a spy. Spy Bumbo. I don't think that's like a title. A title, yeah. I am Spy Jim. Let's just see what it says. You are a Spy Bumbo, a spy living in Chicago. You have a concealed pistol and a syringe of poison. You listen to the Russian diplomats and hear them discussing how they can help you get back home. They say that, but I'm in Chicago. Uh, they say it is all very complicated, but if you just agree to the terms, then they will send you home to meet with you as soon as possible. You think about your family and what could be done for them. Oh, man. Agree with their terms. Go home. See how it's, it's doing the thing, all right? So oh, yeah. Let's hit enter. Okay, we had some technical difficulties, but we're, we're trying again. It wasn't sending our messages last time. So... We are Patient Bumbo. Patient? I guess. Oh. I'm getting desperate at this point. Well, no, I thought you meant like patient because like, we've been trying. Yeah. You are a patient Bumbo, a patient living in Chicago. Why are all detectives in Chicago? You I... have a hospital bracelet and a pack of bandages. You wake up in an old rundown hospital with no memory of how you got there. You take a look around the room and see a bunch of stuff mm. lying on the floor, including some medical books. What do they mean? What do they mean by rundown? Like, is it still functioning? Uh, it's not doing the loading thing anymore. So yeah. Like, so eat hot dog. There we go. Now it's working. We're good to go. It, it kept okay. acting like it was loading. Apparently, Chrome you grab one work. of the hot dogs from the table and bite into it. It tastes horrible, but you don't care because you want to get out of here as soon as possible. Okay. Um, I don't know how that aids you in escaping. Turn on TV, watch news. Maybe we'll find out why. How are you gonna say Netflix? If something happens to this world. You turn on the TV and start watching the news. The reporter is talking about something that happened in New York City. He says that there was a plane crash and people died, but he doesn't say what caused it or who did it. I'm sorry for your loss. Did he just uh, say it to the TV? I don't know, that's kind of dark. Is, is patient Bumbo in the hospital because he's insane? Look for doctor. You turn off the TV and go back to bed. You sit down on the edge of your bed and close your eyes. Suddenly you hear a voice coming from behind you. 
Are you asleep? Who's there? It's me, Dr. Kessel. Um, yeah, what do you what do you want to do? Um, ask for hardcore drugs. Okay. Ask for hardcore drugs. You open your eyes and look at the man standing before you. He has a long white beard and wears glasses. He looks like he could be a doctor, but you can't tell since his face is covered by a black <laughs> surgical mask. A black? That's so you, not... So you would be able to tell if he well, wasn't one, right? he said he was a doctor, and then two, a black surgical <laughs> mask is really sus. <laughs> yeah, that's true. What do you want? What uh, kind of drugs do you want? I guess morphine. Give me that... Oops. Say, I'm trying to float, dog. Give me that... Uh, acid. <laughs> They just carry that. Oh no, they're gonna think it's acid. Uh oh. Like actual, like burn your skin off acid. Uh oh, it's registering my my melting. Yeah. He smiles and nods. Sure, I've been looking all over for this stuff. He pulls out a baggie full of white powdery substance and tosses it under your tongue. He tosses it onto your tongue. <laughs> it tastes terrible, but you swallow it anyway. That'll help you sleep better, right? Start tripping balls. Poor Bumbo. <laughs> Patient Bumbo. The man laughs. Well, if you're so interested in my work, then why not try some of my products? He takes out a small bottle filled with clear liquid and hands it to you. Take one every half hour until you feel sleepy again. Why is he so concerned about me going to sleep? <laughs> That's sus. Is, the, is he actually Bill Cosby? Uh, 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 take off doctor's mask and find Bill Cosby underneath. Okay. Boy, you found me out. You pull up the doctor's mask and see a middle-aged man wearing glasses and a lab coat. He is holding a clipboard and looks very busy. Bill Cosby, MD. Oh, no. Request pudding pop. Request... Pudding pop. It's the least Bill he could Cosby do. MD. <laughs> With one Never quote, thought like I'd a quotation pudding starts. Pop. Pudding pop? Yeah, it's a candy made out of pudding mixed with milk. It tastes good when you eat it while watching TV. Oh, okay, you nod and take the box containing the pudding. Start to fall asleep. I don't want to. <laughs> Just leave. Let's leave the hospital. Yeah. I mean, run out of room screaming, escape hospital. This is gonna become the fortress all over again. You reach the hospital. You run out of the hospital screaming, help, help. You run around the corner and hide under a car. A police officer comes running up to you and asks where you, where you are hiding. You explain <laughs> that you ran away from the hospital. Bill Cosby is trying to roofie me. This is already gonna be like demonetized. No, I'm saying it's it's gonna be good already. You quickly say Bill Cosby is trying to roofie me. The policeman looks at you and shakes his head. No, 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 that won't work. A few minutes later, the policeman comes back with a couple of other policemen. Okay. They're all Bill Cosby <laughs> no. in this. I'll just say they're all Bill Cosby. I was gonna say Bill Cosby, PI. They all look at each other and laugh. Yes, yes, we know who, who you mean. They grab you and throw you into a police van. You spend the next few hours being questioned about what happened in the hospital. Oh. Draw a weapon. Now you have to run from the van. I know. Why are they questioning me? I didn't do anything, Bill Cosby clone. Bill Cosby tried to roofie me. Five cops that are Bill Cosby. <laughs> we know what you mean. Bill Cosby tried to roofie Again. Me. Yeah. Bill Cosby's trying to roofie me. You continue to deny, to deny everything and insist you didn't even go there. Finally, after several hours of questioning, the police give up and let you go home. Uh, after getting home, you fall asleep on the couch. Eat banquet chicken finger oh, God. TV dinner. Eat nasty keto cake. Oh no. This is an inside joke that I won't explain because it's too devastating. 
Really, it's a sad tale. Anyways, oh. you wake up and realize that you ate the worst tasting <laughs> keto cake in town. It tasted like shit and was horrible. You vomit immediately and feel sick for days afterwards. Really? This is my life now, I guess. Commit keto suicide. <laughs> They're gonna say keto side. <laughs> You don't want to live this way anymore, so you decide oh. to leave town. You call your friend who lives in another town and tell him you need help. Your friend tells you he can get someone to drive you out of the state, but warns you that it will be dangerous. Why? Yeah, why is it dangerous to just like, leave the state? who is that person? Uh, call the disappear guy from Breaking Bad. Dude, this is gonna turn- How come I never thought to put Breaking Bad in this before? I don't know. You call the disappear person helper, SPH, uh, number on Breaking Bad, and ask if anyone would come pick you up. After waiting an hour or two, you hear a voice coming over the phone. Hello, is this Jesse James? You're the, so you're holding the phone up for an hour or two, and it's just <laughs> silent. Apparently. Damn, you're desperate. Jesse Hello, James. Is this Jesse James? Isn't that like a classic? Jesse James is a... Uh, the that outlaw, like, right? Yeah, like a western. Yeah. No. This, this is Patrick. This is Patrick. This is Jesse Pinkman. Bitch. No, this is J Reviews. <laughs> the SPH man says, well, then you've got a long drive ahead of you. How much do you weigh? You reply, I'm not going anywhere until I find out what happened to my sister. He sighs and hangs up. up. What the hell? He screwed up. Bro. Call Walter. Why? And our dog's also named Walter. In words. Like He's saying that. We're... Call Walter. Oh god, I didn't mean to do that. You call uh, Walter White's a number again, and this time he answers. He asks how old you are, and you say 17. He's, <gasps> he says, wow, I never knew you were related to Gus Frank. He continues, so how did you end up here anyway? They realize if this was like in the Breaking Bad show, Jesse calls a Walt, Walt says, I never knew you were related <laughs> to Gus Fring. This doesn't make any sense. My uncle Gus taught me everything I know. We can start the business up again. What do you say, Walt? Oops, say, whoops. Say, say. <laughs> Walt. can start he business up God again. damn it. Walt laughs. Yeah, sure, why not? You both hang up and think about what just occurred. What the hell? Fast forward to us cooking. It's like Gus never even cooked, but I don't care. You're, wait, you're Gus now? No, my uncle Gus he taught, taught me everything. You, how to cook, but you quickly change the channel to cooking with Bobby <laughs> Filet and watch as you cook dinner. The food looks delicious and tastes exactly like when you had it when you were little. Okay. Take a bite into my of, dippy egg. Of Bobby Flay's flay. Bobby Flay? I forgot about that, that he existed. He <laughs> Take a bite into my dippy <laughs> egg. And immediately spit it back out. You notice that the taste isn't quite right though. You try to swallow it but fell miserably. You're pretty hungry by now, so you decide to grab some more food off the table near you. Uh, it's all dippy egg. You eat the entire thing and feel full as hell. Full as hell. You wonder where you should go next. After eating, you decide to check out the rest of the house. There's a bathroom in one corner, which seems kind of neat since there aren't many other Are rooms you in this new place. To your own house? Yeah, like whoa, a bathroom. Is it your house? You're pretty at, sure. Still, we need to make this more exciting. What is this even? Are, isn't this a fantasy? Oh no, it's mystery still, huh? Yeah. We're All right. Not fulfilling um, the mystery role. Well, we need um, invite Walt, Jesse, Mike. Gustavo to my house party. <laughs> They're all gonna show. Wait, I thought you were Jesse. No, I I just said that. Uh, I'm not actually him. You decide to invite everyone you know to your house party. You figure they'll probably have fun, and you won't have any problems with them. You call up Mike and Gustavo and tell them to meet at the trailer park parking lot around midnight. Well, okay, whatever. 
Tackle Jesse to the floor, then activate trunk machine gun. <laughs> oh no. They're all going down. Jesse's not even there. Well, I invited them. You tackle Jesse to the floor and put your hands around his throat. Oh. You pull out a small metal device from your pocket and press a button on it. A red light starts flashing, indicating that the trunk opener has been activated. Oh, the machine gun mows down. Everyone's standing. It's just Gus and Mike, isn't it? <laughs> I just changed history. Or and Wall, because you're not if Wall. If he's there. You're not Wall. No, I'm not. As soon as you shoot someone, the machine gun begins firing bullets. Yeah, that's an effective way of killing people if you need to kill lots of them in a quick Thanks succession. You continue shooting people until you run out of ammo, or until you get tired and stop shooting. This is disgusting. Why is it giving me, like... No Russian? No, it's just like, it's like a possibility. Like, they're not telling me that this actually occurred. I know, right? You know what? Since they're not letting me live out my Breaking Bad fantasy properly, go to John's incredible pizza with Jesse. I'm sure he would appreciate that, you know? Oh, I should have went go-karting with him. You go to John's pizza with Jesse, who's still lying dead on the floor! You see that the pizza guy is trying to help him up. Hey, what happened? Why am I laying here? Wait, what? I'm sorry, buddy, but I accidentally <gasps> shot Jesse through the head. But wait, who no. said they're laying there? The pizza guy? I don't guy? know. Give Jesse a life room. <laughs> Please, Jesse, don't. You give Jesse a life stream and he smiles. He tells you to keep going and that he'll be fine. Oh. He continues to say that he wants to stay at your house for a while since it was nice meeting you. Fall in love. No, he's my best friend. Make love. You sick. Play Sonic Racing with Jesse. <laughs> Cause that's the game he's playing with Brock <laughs> in like this one Is episode. It? Yeah. Jesse gets out of bed and sits in front of the TV playing Sonic Racing. You play along too. The two of you are very happy together. Oh. Wow, this is how Breaking Bad should have went, you know? Just hit enter without typing anything and it'll add more. Really? Yeah. It's really considering... Oh, well, apparently not. It uh, says it will. Uh, Saw shows up. I, know, I like how you're supposed to put actions, but I'm just saying the events. I'm taking over as the dungeon master half the time. You wake up to find yourself back home. You're not sure how long you were asleep, but when you look around, you realize that it was only about five minutes. You walk you... into the kitchen and notice that everything looks exactly like it. it this is the most boring. It this is. is so boring. It's like, it you're, is. You're, you're, you wake <laughs> up at home. Nothing's different. <laughs> wow, what an exciting tale. Yeah, Jay, I think we we kicked the bucket on this one. Wait, blow up Blow Jesse. Blow up Bill Cosby with will with wheelchair pump. <laughs> so it's like hell? he's Gus Fring, you know? <laughs> you rush over to Bill Cosby and grab his chair, you push it towards him and then throw it at him. The chair explodes, sending Bill Cosby flying backwards. Bill screams in pain and falls off the couch onto the floor. Bill Cosby screams... Screams... Ah, before jumping up, half of his face blown off. Oh. I've never imagined Bill Cosby in that situation. You hear Bill scream again, and this time you turn around to see him running away. You chase after him with your gun drawn. You shoot Bill several times in the leg, chest, stomach, and face. This is disgusting. <laughs> Chop him into bits. No. I'm just trying to blow him up. It's I'm not trying to kill content, him. the content, Jay. Start... Dinging the bell over and over. Come on, it has to understand. It has to do what I'm asking. Why does it always go with gun? You start ringing bells over and over while screaming bell, bell. It doesn't work though. Bill Cosby's already escaped. How is, what? How is he alive? Jesus Christ, he's too powerful. Jesus. 
activate trunk machine gun. <laughs> it's like already outside waiting. Like that was my my backup plan. You activate the trunk machine gun, which causes a loud noise and sparks fly everywhere. A few <laughs> seconds later, you hear a gunshot followed by Bill Cosby's death. So this one was just one shotgun blast trunk. Well, it worked, I think. I don't know. Bill Cosby leaps up from the ground, riddled with bullets, but still alive. He screams, oh! <laughs> oh my god. That's all he can do now. He's like a poorly coded NPC. <laughs> you see Bill Cosby leap up from the ground, riddled with bullets, but still alive. He screams, ha, as he runs through your door and, and escapes, escapes your house, but he's already outside. He's been blasted so many times. Call Mike to take care of Bill Cosby. I mean, if anyone's gonna be able to put him down for good, it's Mike, you know? You call Mike, who comes immediately. He shoots Bill in the head, killing him instantly. Bill leaps up, but bullet in head, but still alive, screaming, ha, ah, before tackling Mike and activating trunk machine. <laughs> he's too he's horrible. A I think he's a Zandy. You see Bill Cosby jump up and attempt to tackle you, but you manage to grab a hold of his neck and pull him down. However, he managed to get out of the way just in time for you to fire a shell into his body. Killing him instantly. But it It's like a horror movie how the bad guy keeps dying <laughs> and it coming didn't. back. Bill Cosby ascends, floating into the air, screaming, Pow! <laughs> This is so stupid. You see Bill Cosby <laughs> ascend into the sky as he <laughs> falls there. <laughs> He needs to scream oh, until he disappears. Oh, <laughs> He's finally gone. It's like the final boss fight. Did he go fight. to heaven? Is that what that means? Was he all a dream? Finally. It's over, you say. Clenching your Cosby wounds. <laughs> It's like a final boss in like a fantasy game. You sit on the sofa and relax your wounds. I'm sorry everyone, you say. It's all my fault. You lie back down and fall asleep. This game is like obsessed with you sleeping for some reason. Yeah, that's really odd. You wake you you wake up to the sound of Cosby laughter. La Cosby laughing in fat Albert's voice. Does he do his voice? Ominous, yeah. Really? Ominous music building. <laughs> like it's like the cliffhanger in a horror movie. Ho 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 